Hello there. Hey guys, how are you all doing? In this video, I want to highlight something that I am very behind and supportive of, and that is my good friend Jamie Costa, who is going to be making a fully fledged out Obi-Wan Kenobi fan film. And you guys can find out all about it from Jamie Costa's links that I'll put down below. Uh, I'm a huge advocate of fan films. I think self-expression in you know film or writing or whatever it may be is a great way for fans or anybody really to just get their message out there and yeah. Self-expression, that's self-explanatory. So here is something that I posted uh, from him, and you can find more, uh, of course, on his social media. Here he is in his Obi-Wan Kenobi outfit, takes place after Revenge of the Sith, before episode four, with all of his battles on Tatooine, and all of his mental struggles mainly. And I've talked to him about it, I've read his first original script, and it is absolutely mind-blowing. It is really, really cool, and I cannot wait to see this whole thing finished and uh, done. So you guys can find out more from him and his social media links are down below. If you want to be part of this, you guys will have to ask him. I'm just merely pushing this out there so everyone knows because, um, well, I kind of have a lot of subs. So <laughs> <laughs> if I can help, then that's great. This is another photo that he posted. And I think it just looks great. Like it just he looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now I've spoken to him about it and he basically says that it's going to follow a very dark theme. It's going to be very different from what we've seen before. It's gonna follow Obi-Wan's basically post-traumatic stress from Order 66 and, you know, cutting Anakin into pieces on Mustafar. And it's gonna take place right after episode three. Um, we're gonna see lots of stuff that kind of coincide with what we think Obi-Wan would be going through and kind of dealing with at that time. That's something that I would really like to see. I wanna know, you know, it, I don't know if he's gonna incorporate Qui-Gon, I don't know if, what he's gonna do, and I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys, but there are there's so many things that he could be doing with this, and uh, I'm very excited for it. So that's all, I basically just wanted to get this out there, I wanted you guys to know about it, and for further updates on how you can be involved, or you know where it's going from here, just follow his social media links, either on Instagram, at Jamie Costa, or uh, his YouTube channel, which I'm gonna link below. Also, if you didn't know, which I probably should have said at the very beginning of this video, he is the man behind Solo, a Smuggler's Trade fan film. So yeah, that's this one right here. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm sure a lot of you have. It has almost two and a half million views. Uh, and you guys can even go and check out my comment from two years ago. So I'm there, you know, let him know that I, I sent you here. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys will be supportive of his journey uh, to make an Obi-Wan fan film. I know I definitely am, and I'm going to be posting a lot more updates, courtesy of him and uh, at his discretion. So uh, give this video a thumbs up, go sh show him some love, and uh, I'm going to stop stuttering. I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, may the Force be with you. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>